Well, hello and welcome to a Launch with Camille channel, a channel that helps female entrepreneurs create wildly successful digital products online. Today, I'm going to be taking you through how to create a printable to actually sell on sites like Etsy or Creative Market. Not only that, this is gonna be in about three part section. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to create the digital product, that printable. The second is actually going to be popping it onto your Etsy store and making sure your Etsy store looks absolutely beautiful. And the third is actually really homing in on that SEO and getting it to the point where you're making sales constantly. So I hope you like that. If you like my videos, I would love, love, love for you to actually hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more hints and tips about how to set up and start creating that passive income with digital products. I've got lots to take you through today. So let's get going and let's start creating your printable. Okay, so first starting off with obviously the research side of things thinking about which particular planners that you would like to create, thinking about your style, thinking also about your personality. Because remember, you will be creating this shop and you want to put your personality in it to make sure it stands out. So let's start off with the research. I simply go over to Etsy here and what you're gonna pop into this particular section um, is printable. Okay, so now it gives you actually a list of printable products that people are searching for. So you've got printable, printable wall art, printable planners, you've got uh, printable stickers. So you really need to think what is actually selling at the moment, what is so popular. So for this particular one, I'm going to click onto the printable planners there. Now this gives you a beautiful example of all the planners that are available. It can also tell you how many sales they're getting through to the star rating and you know what's selling and what people would like to see more of. Obviously with planners you are going to get this typical um, ones that you can print off. That might be something that you want to bring into the company as an option. You can certainly do that. But we're going to concentrate more on these type of planners here. So you've got a pastel theme planner here, which is a weekly planner. Now they have got a lot of sales here and a fantastic star rating. So people are absolutely loving their products. You don't have to go crazy with planners, which is really nice. You don't have to make it too fussy. People like it quite plain so they can actually fill in their own details. And if you can add things like digital stickers for your planners as well, that is actually going to boost your sales. Um, and this one, a very, again, very simple. It's an A5 daily planner there. Um, but also they've sold a lot, like thousands. Um, but they've kind of done it in a really nice cartoon style. So I quite, quite like that. You can even go down and check out their actual mock-ups of how they're actually doing it. But don't worry, later on we're going to be talking about mock-ups. It's really today is to get an idea of what type of particular planner you're looking to do. So it doesn't have to be just a weekly planner. You can do a cleaning planner, for example. You can do habit trackers. You can do wedding planners. You can do birthday planners. Anything you can think of to really niche down and you can pick a particular one that you love working on, then that is a great way to go. I've just popped in planners for Canva um, and it obviously brings some details out here. Planners, planner covers, um, project planner schedules and everything like that that you can have a look through there. But also um, it gives you this search here. So it gives you study planners, weekly planners, daily planners, my travel planner, I love that. Um, you've got wedding planners as well. A great example here of what you can have a look through, gets inspiration, obviously not copy, but it's there for you to get, you know, excited about. I'm gonna create my planner now, go over to create a blank planner. Now you might ask, oh, what particular size is this? We well, would head up to resize and it actually gives you the size here that you can work with. So 21 by 29, but you can change this as well, obviously depending on what you would like to do. It gives you it in millimeters, inches and pixels as well. So here is my design and my blank design, shall I say here. Now I've added in these two, so you go to file, show margins, you can take those off and also the bleed off. Now the reason why I've popped those particular ones on 
um, is actually if people come to print your planner, if you go out of this particular line here, then obviously this will be cut off for your customers. So try not to go out for that particular line. So let's get creating. Today I'm going to do a particular planner, which is a monthly planner for you. Let me add the text for you. Now ignore these particular fonts. This is just something that I use for my business. These are my fonts, but I'm gonna pop them at the top here. And I'm gonna put monthly planner. And then again, you can browse through particular fonts, but I'm gonna go for this particular one here, which is called Apricots. Okay, so now we've got your particular title. Again, it can be anything that you particularly choose from. I'm now gonna add in a table. You can do this by going over to Elements, getting a little box, so dragging it to the side like that. Now you might have to go over these particular lines just to get this in. So this is my monthly planner. Grab a box again from here. So this is gonna be my top section. Now I'm gonna go for a more darker pink. So that is my little box together there. I'm now going to add in some lines. You go over to lines here, swivel them round about 90 degrees and then bring them over to the box. Drag down. Now that looks really quite th thick those lines there at the moment so I'm going to go over, you click on to the line, come up to the weight here, line weight and I'm going to take it down to a zero which gives you a thin line that you can work with there. Now I'm gonna turn that line into white and then to just simply copy and paste that on your computer and drag the lines across. So when you've got it looking about right, what I would tend to do then is pop in these lines so to 180 degrees and then going to go over to like little headings and then I'm going to do a bold type of font so I'm going to go on to open sans and then I'm going to just put some I'm now gonna move on to the next section. So I'm gonna go down here. Now I want them to think about their goals and them setting their goals in this particular planner. So I'm gonna add that in. I go over to elements and then I'm gonna pop into this search bar, outline. It's going to bring out this. So I'm gonna use this fin one for example here and you can literally drag and drop. I'm gonna go over to more darker shade of pink there. Now, you can literally copy and paste these titles and make them as small as you want by dragging and dropping. And I'm gonna put my goals. Now, I would like to put this on the line here. So what I would do is I would grab another square, drag it down as tiny as you can go. Also the same width and drag it to the top here. So you're keeping in the middle, see that line? And then you're gonna choose the same color as the background. So it brings a little bit of a gap there, which I love. And then I'm just gonna pop in my goals there. Okay. Now you can actually add in some lines to this section here. So I'm gonna just change the color of my lines to a more lighter pink. Bring the line in, keeping that shape. And you could actually put, mm -hmm, tidy up. 
Okay, you've got your goals, fantastic. You're now going to go over to my little to-do list. To-do list. Just a little cute to-do list that we can add in there. Now, you're gonna grab a little box here. What is a big box? You're gonna resize it and just drag those over to the side, okay? Now again, copying, pasting as many boxes you would like because it just keeps that shape and you're not having to shape or resize them all the time. You might get some um, ones that go off side. So again, drag over the shapes, hit position, go down to tidy up and it actually spaces them out for you. Again, you can select them all, hit tidy up puts them in perfect place and there you have your little to-do list as well. Now it looks great but it's a little bit plain at the moment so I need to add in some little bits just to give a bit more fun element to it. So we're going to go over to, so let's just drag in some of these. All these elements were found in Canva for free as well. So looking at three elements, remembering not to go over that little line. I'm just gonna add in. And then you can keep it the same so it's easy for someone to print off. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of color to the background, remembering to change those elements up there with that color if you're going to change the color. So it all looks great. So then after that, I would name the product at the top. So I'm gonna put in Fun Planner and we're gonna just download the file as a PNG to begin with because we're gonna actually set up um, the listing so we need it as a picture. So let's download that one. And then we're also going to download it as a PDF, but you want the high quality print. So click on that and download. So they've got two there for you. Now also you can actually share this as a link to someone. So say for example, you wanted to give it away as a freebie, you can completely do that and they can actually change out their bits as well on this particular um, copy. So you can actually just copy and paste that and then you just send that link to someone. Okay, so here we are now at the listing um, for Etsy. The sizes for Etsy you would need for a listing is 2000 width by height of 1500. So I've quickly popped this together for you. Now this is a mock-up which I found from Canva. So you go over to photos, mock-ups, and you can pick any of these. So it might be that we want just a plain particular one. I've just dragged and dropped this one over here and I did that by dragging and just simply dropping it in. Now to resize, you double click and drag into position. It's great because it gives you an idea of where you can put your particular planner. I've already uploaded my planner here. You would do this by going to upload media and downloading it into your file here. So I'm just gonna play around quickly with positioning it. And then if you have the pro account, I believe that you need this for the pro account, but you just Go up to edit image, click on to shadows, and I would say lift from the page. There we are, so it looks like it's jumping off the page for you. You could add a little sticker that says um, digital download as well. So people know that when they're downloading this product, it's not gonna be sent to them in the post, it's just a digital download. And you can add some fun elements in here as well. Um, let's have a look. You can add in some like fun designs to the side and put your branding colors on things like that very fun so I'm now going to show you one you can actually just mock up by yourself you come over to here click onto the background now again you just simply 
click on to upload and then to make it stand out edit shadows page lift I'm going to add in some other elements to this so features include and then you can go over here grab a circle So you can end up getting things like vertex. Dragging the ticks in. Let's change the colors of all of these. Again, drag, make them more of a Then again, matching it up to your design, you can pop these little pots in as well. Get that little design there. And add in the same, like the top of the planner, just so it all comes together. And then I'm gonna add in a arrow. just so it just shows people what they need to be looking at. So it looks fun, it looks engaging, and then not forgetting, I'll show you how to put in that button which says digital download. You don't want people coming to you and saying, um, I thought you were actually sending this to your my address. That's not what it's about, it's about the digital product. So they're standing out, you're showing people that that is a digital download that they're receiving and not actually getting the physical product, although you can do a physical product if you would like. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video that takes you through your research element of creating your printable, actually creating it itself, and also through to the Etsy listing and thinking about how to mock up that Etsy listing to move forward to our next stage, which is actually gonna go through opening up your Etsy store, making it look pretty, and get onto your next stage of scaling your product. I hope to see you in part two video where we're going to dive into creating this Etsy shop of dreams with your printables. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.